This video considers reconstruction of an image from projection data. Consider, for example, the ideal imaging task shown in the first picture, which consists of a detail against a uniform background. If we look at the ray sum through the detail, you can see there is a considerable dip in the projection data. As a first step in reconstruction, we assume that the dip is due to a uniform material within the ray sum that has the same effect as the actual detail does, and we back project the ray sum along that direction. We then repeat that process with the X-ray tube at a different angle so that we have two back projections. These back projections are then superimposed upon each other. The process is repeated with more back projections and superimposition of these back projections until a complete image is reconstructed as shown in the final slide in the sequence. However, the back projection process results in information outside of the area where it is expected to be. This corresponds to a blurring of the picture. To undo this blurring effect, we must apply a deconvolution. The deconvolution is based on a kernel shape, which is applied to each projection prior to the superimposition. As you can see, several of these back projected rays have been treated using the convolution kernel, which results in a light region each side of the main back projection ray. The lighter regions correct for back projection blurring, resulting in cancellation of the back projection blur, provided that enough projections are used and provided the convolution kernel is appropriately designed. This little example is intended to show the principles and of course does not result in a perfect back projected image.